So as I mentioned in the first video, Chris Evans had been training for a long time before he first played Captain America. And while he did all the hard work himself, he had two great trainers advising him. So in this episode, we are going to take a look at their training philosophies and how they helped Chris build the Captain America physique. We're going to take a look at Steve Zim because he was Chris's first trainer. Now Steve did some work with the BuzzFeed crew here on YouTube, so I'll leave a link in the description to one of those videos. Now one of the things I like about Steve Zim is in his assessment. He first looks at body posture and checks for any muscular imbalances that may need to be corrected. He also was very aware of muscles in the body that need to be developed in order to make your physique pop. Things that we might be aware of but have a tendency to neglect, like rear delt development. He's also very big on getting his clients to feel the muscles working through slow controlled repetitions. So I picked two exercises from Steve's arsenal of exercises to suggest you to give a try. The first one he calls the W shoulder. Now it's not the same as the Scott press or the W press. For this exercise you take two dumbbells like you're going to do a shoulder press but your palms will be facing inward towards your head and your elbows will be down by your side with your dumbbells slightly away from your body so that you're making a W shape with your arms. And then you press up and outward, turning the W into a Y. The second exercise is called the C sweep. It's a chest finisher move. It's like a dumbbell fly with a plus. So you lie back on a bench with your arms up back over your head and then line with the bench. Then you keep your arms fairly straight and you don't need a lot of weight for this exercise because it's meant to be done in a very slow and controlled fashion. And then you take your arms and you move them into like a 90 degree position from your body. But as you move them into that position, you also move your arms up like you're doing a chest fly, creating that C shape. Simon Watterson is Chris's second trainer and the one that got him ready for that famous pod reveal scene. Now Simon's basic philosophy is that you should prioritize athletic performance and out of that improved athleticism will come improved aesthetics. Now Chris has said that they did very little traditional cardio leading up to that role. What they would do instead was these plyometric circuits before training, which would allow him to improve his conditioning without running the risk of losing size. In an interview, Chris also said that they trained six days a week, with day six being reserved to fully fatigue any muscles that still weren't fatigued from the rest of the week's training. And if he was fully fatigued from the week, they still did a plyometric circuit and some postural work because you can't be superhuman without great posture. After completing the plyometric circuits, they'd focus on two different muscle groups each workout with the workouts lasting about two hours. And as you'd expect Captain America to do, he trained hard and heavy using classic compound exercises as well as weighted versions of classic bodyweight exercises. He mentions how they would mix things up by varying his body position and hand positionings each workout. The example he gives is for his upper chest where they would do an incline close grip bench press with an incline fly and following that by once again an incline push up. Then he would do a shoulder press but he'd do it from his knees to take out his tendency to use his legs and he felt it engaged his core better. When it came time to prepare for the Winter Soldier movie, they added gymnastics in with his plyometrics to help round out his athletic training. Now the only specific plyometric exercise that Chris mentions is squats to box jumps. But any sort of jumping or explosive exercise would qualify like clapping push-ups. The purpose being to get your heart rate up fast and to improve your explosive strength. So becoming Captain America is a lot about the look. But along the way, they developed a training plan that emphasized athletic performance along with aesthetics, creating a super soldier. So this is Lawrence from Fit and 50 signing out. Keep working out. Keep having fun creating a super version of you. And we will talk to you again in that next video.